Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dynamic Ship Simulator 3 video. This video will be a bit different from my other videos because in this video, instead of going over the things that are already in DSS3, I will be going over the things coming in the next update, Update 45. With that being said, I'm going to start off with the most prominent and the most exciting feature coming in Update 45, the Tiki Boat. Ha, <laughs> you thought I was going to say the Beluga Ace, didn't you? The Tiki Bar Boat is a new boat coming to Update 45 and we actually know a surprising amount about it. Syntax Connoisseur has said that the speed will be 5.2 knots. Now, it isn't completely clear whether 5.2 knots is its base speed or if that's the speed it goes when it's fully upgraded, but I'm willing to bet that's most likely the speed it goes when it's fully upgraded. Another thing known about it is that it has a Tiki song that plays whenever you use the siren, which I will play a clip of that now, but the clip isn't that good, so you can't really see it, but you can hear it. Syntax Connoisseur has also said that the boat will not do charters, so there will be no making money from this boat. By far the most interesting thing Syntax Connoisseur has said about this boat is that it will not be purchasable with credits. Instead, you have to obtain a badge which will then unlock the boat. The way you obtain this badge has not yet been decided, however Syntax did say it will not be a quest, so there is that. The next thing I'll be talking about for update 45 is the Beluga Ace. When the Beluga Ace is released, it will be the new best grinding ship in DSS3, overtaking the LNG. There isn't a confirmed price of the Beluga Ace yet, Yet. however, because it is better than the LNG, it will be at least 14 million credits. There's currently one skin we know for the Blue Ace, which is the NYK Alliance skin, and according to Cold, who is the person that made the ship, it should be available on release. When the Beluga Ace is added in Update 45, there will only be a bridge and a card deck. However, when I had a conversation with Cold many months ago, he told me that two crew cabins, a small gym, and a lounge were all planned to be added. This is what the horn sounds like. <laughs> The next thing I'll be talking about is the Mariah class commuter boat. Now, there isn't really much known about the Mariah class commuter boat, however it will have a full interior and based on this photo it looks like it'll probably have a skin. The next boat I'll be talking about that's coming to update 45 is the AC-75 racing yacht. Now there is like pretty much nothing known about the AC-75, however I wouldn't be surprised if it had multiple skins similar to how the Volvo Ocean 65 had. Something that's really cool about the AC-75 racing yacht is that it's able to actually lift itself out of the water, so you can probably expect that feature to be in DSS-3 when it's added. The next boat coming to update 45 is the 25 meter police boat. Again, there isn't much known about this boat, however it has been spotted in the game a few times. I did show this boat in one of my previous videos, however I don't really think I was supposed to do that, so the only photo of it I'm going to show in this video is of its teaser. However, I will say that in terms of the exterior, the model in this teaser and the model in game look identical. The only other information I have about this boat is that it will have multiple skins. The Carpathia is the second largest ship coming to the game in Update 45. The Carpathia will of course have a bridge, but there is also even more interior that is planned to be added in the future. That is all the information that has been confirmed about the Carpathia, however I do assume that this will most likely have working lifeboats, but I could be wrong about that. As of right now, the only other thing that's being added in this update is the H-Class Hovercraft. The H-Class Hovercraft will be the third and smallest hovercraft in the game, However, that is pretty much all that is known about it. Although those are all of the main additions in Update 45, there are a few smaller things that are being added that I will now go over. To start off, the Nomadic class Tender will receive an interior. The Billionaire badge and title will also be added, and the daily reward caps will be increased. There will also be another three titles added to the game. The first title, which is called Fan, can be achieved by visiting the game seven days in a row. The Enjoyer title can be achieved by visiting the game 30 days in a row, and the Chad title can be achieved by visiting the game 100 days in a row. The Red Jet 7 will also most likely not be added in this update. Of course, there will also be some bug fixes in this update. So that is pretty much everything that is on the Update 45 troll page, however, keep in mind that things could still be added to this update. Update 45 is still most likely a few weeks out, so things still could change. Now, I know this video was mostly for Update 45, however, so many people have been asking about the Lusitania that I feel like I should include this here. The Lusitania is planned to be added in Update 46, but of course that is just the expected release date. It is not for sure releasing in Update 46. Some things we know about the Lusitania is that it will have working lifeboats, an onboard cafe, and a hospital skin. I am also like 85% sure that I remember one of the devs saying the Lusitania will be in Nautica, but please don't take what I am saying as fact because I am not 100% certain that is true. With all that out of the way, that concludes this Dynamic Ships North 3 video. I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe if you did enjoy, but until next time, I will see you guys all later. Bye.